Hey guys, it's Chloe. This is just a quick, short, sweet, to the point video because I'm just like in shock right now and I just did an Instagram story kind of addressing this, but I know a lot of you guys don't follow me on Instagram, which is kind of stupid if you are on Instagram and you're not, so follow me. That's at Flow with Clo. I did not just call you stupid. Let me take that back. It would be really smart for you to follow me just because there's a lot of content that goes on over there that doesn't necessarily happen here. Um, I'm more just active over on Instagram. It's easier. But I just got an email from a client. So all of my clients, I have like a Google Doc that we uh, share together and we're constantly communicating on. And I had written like my session notes on there. And one of the things that I um, wrote down for her was to remind her of the meditation tool that we went over during uh, our session that's gonna help her really um, calm down her thoughts and help release the calculation of calories that's going on at meal time. And, um, and so I just wrote a little note for her on the Google Doc, like do this anytime you have a lot of racing thoughts or counting up calories and overall anxious. Using tools like this consistently is a game changer. Now below my note, she went on to say that she had a couple wins this week. One, um, what we talked about in our session really made her think about the value of food and why we eat. So we talked about how food is so much more than calories and nutrition and that there's so much more value to it. Um, and then again, we talked about this tool that I gave her and now she posted below and she said, this has been so helpful, at least grounding me and bringing me back to the moment intentionally. So this has been really helping with calorie counting. And so I posted this on my Instagram and I said, love it when clients use the tools I give them to help curb anxiety and transform their relationship with food. And I said, do you have tools you use in your recovery to help you throughout the process of neural rewiring? And 86% of people said no. That was about 611 or something people that said no, they do not have any tools to help them through the process of neural rewiring and going through this whole process of recovery. And I'm just like standing here and just like shock. Like how are you to recover without having any tools to help you through this process? And I think this is a mistake that a lot of people make is they kind of have this like perception or idea of like, oh, I'm just gonna grow out of this. Like I'm just gonna grow out of my unhealthy relationship with food or I'm just gonna grow out of amenorrhea is something that I've even heard doctors say like, oh, just wait a couple years, your period will come back. Yeah, well, you could be waiting a long time. You could be waiting all the way up to menopause and your period's never gonna come back. So. If you're not doing recovery, then those things aren't just gonna happen. And recovery is hard. Recovery is trying. Recovery is like filled with crying and uncomfortability and doubts and fear and anxiety. And oh my gosh, if you have no tools to help you get through that, like that's like trying to hike up Mount Everest with zero tools, like just yourself. Like, nope, forget it guys. I don't need any like picks and shovels and they don't take shovels, but you know what I mean? You don't need picks or ropes or carabiners or any of that. Like, I'm just gonna go up Mount Everest. Like, good luck getting to the top. Like, that ain't gonna happen. Um, and so this is just really, really saddening to me that so many people are going through this process and they're not like packing uh, their toolbox with all of these tools to help them through it. Um, it's a game changer when all of a sudden you have meditations and journal exercises and um, certain just behavior changing things like it's so 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 helpful to have those things so that like okay I'm stepping into dinner um, with family and friends I want to be present here but I'm also freaking out about you know what's on the table and is this triple organic and is that vegan and all that and you're freaking out and you're trying to have food freedom and everything's kind of going on it's like you need a tool to help you understand how to get through that so that you don't just revert to old behaviors is this for those of you who are really in this who are suffering from an eating disorder disordered eating amenorrhea whatever it is you're going through if you are really really in this right now you need to figure out what those tools are that's literally essential to this process you can't just go in and be like i'm just gonna eat more just gonna eat more just gonna stop exercising and eat more yeah what does that do for your anxiety and for your you know the amount of fear that you're feeling and all of that that's gonna skyrocket it and when you're not prepared for that 
then you're gonna just tumble back down. And that was my whole journey for multiple years, right? I would skyrocket up and be like, I'm gonna recover. And then like a week later, after eating all the food I wanted and not exercising, I was like, I'm gonna restrict. And down I would go. Back into restriction, back into overexercise, back into chronically dieting and unhealthy behaviors with food. Because I was mal-equipped. Because, honestly, like, mm, the amount of relapses I went through, and I look back at it, I'm like, no duh, you didn't even have any support in your life to be going through this so here you are as like a 17 year old girl trying to get her period back and trying to like you know trying to expand the amount of food that she eats and you know eat a different variety and all of that like you're trying to find food freedom you're trying to get over this eating disorder and you're just doing it on your own and that meant that I spent the next 11 years of my life up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It was a crazy journey. I don't recommend it to anyone. And it's sad when I look back at my life and like I remember my life based on like where I was at in my eating disorder. Like those are the memories I have, not, oh, I remember we went to this place and then we had fun and then we went to that concert. I don't remember that. I'm like, oh, 19 years old, that was the year I was plagued with being keto. 22 years old, that was the year I moved to Hawaii and I was raw vegan. Like, <laughs> that's the year I was waking up at four o'clock in the morning to go to the gym and work out on a fasted stomach. <sighs> like, that's what I remember my life as. And that's so sad to me. It's so, so, so sad to me. So, this is why I dedicated my life to helping other women have the tools to get through this process. Because once you have those tools, you have such a higher, um, a higher chance for success and for reaching full recovery. So gather those tools, guys. Get as many as you can and put them in your toolbox. Educate yourself, learn about your body, learn what it really means to support your body's health. Learn how important it is to have a menstrual cycle. Learn the tools that are gonna help you rewire your perspective with food and nourishment and rest and all of that. Get support. And I know not everyone has the ability to do so, but get support if you can. If there is a way for you to be investing in yourself every single month, get that support. You are not going to regret it, trust me. Think about this for a moment. Like I want you to think about you completely out of this, wherever it is you're at, think about where you're at now and then you completely out of it. You wake up in the morning and you're just like excited to have, you know, a yummy breakfast and you're energized and you go out to lunch with friends and you're not overthinking it and you move when you want to move and exercise is actually fun and it's not a punishment anymore. So think about what recovery means to you. Maybe for you it also means you get your fertility back, you can have babies, that's huge, right, okay? Um, so think about that. Do you really think that when you are, say, if you're someone who really wants to get pregnant and doesn't have her period back right now, do you really think that once you get your period back and you get pregnant and you give birth to your beautiful little baby, do you really think you're gonna be like, so pissed, I spent a thousand bucks on learning some tools? I don't think so. I don't think at that point you're going to be mad about investing in yourself to get you to where you wanted to be. This is a big shift, but I think it's a shift that a lot of people need to start making because when you're struggling with an eating disorder, you have this weird relationship with scarcity. Everything seems to be really scarce in life and that can translate to money. I was the most frugal, scarce, mindsetted person towards money back when I was struggling with my eating disorder. Like the type of person that was like, I'm gonna move my car every 60 minutes because I don't wanna just pay a dollar for parking. Like that type of scarcity. And so we need to get out of that mindset and we need to get more in an abundant mindset, abundance with food, abundance with money, abundance with joy, abundance with happiness. Like we need to get out of this restrictive, depriving kind of state that we're in and we need to step into this state and we need to start understanding that when you invest, you're gaining so much more. You're stepping into that state of abundance and what happens when we are living in that state of abundance? 
Oh my gosh, it's such a joyous, wonderful, beautiful place to be when you are in that state of abundance. Restriction has a huge impact on your life in so many areas. You restrict food, you're also restricting happiness, you're restricting intimacy, you're restricting um, playful thoughts, you're restricting a lot of things. When you step into that energy of abundance, then you are living abundantly and that leads or lends to such a different life. Anyways, didn't want to make this too long, so I am going to go now, but I just, again, it's so sad to know that so many people are going through this journey without those tools, without the resources, and without the support, when that is like the critical part of like getting to full recovery for many, many, many people. It's hard to do it on your own. I know I did it. And gosh, guys, like I'm tough. I'm a, I've always just from a young age, I've been like a tough cookie and that broke me. I'm surprised I got to where I am like because it broke me so many times to get to where I am now. And so if I wasn't strong enough to pick myself back up again and to be like, no, I'm figuring this out, I would still be where I was. And so you don't need to be that tough cookie. You can be smart and you can fast pace your learning and fast pace this journey by working with someone who has gone through this journey and who has educated about it and who has provided you tools to help you get through that faster. This is like why I'm so passionate about the Get Your Phone course because I'm like, geez, where was this when I was struggling? Like this stuff is like such valuable knowledge and information and tools that could have really, 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 really helped me just get to where I wanted to go. Instead of going through the 11 year up and down, up and down, up and down, another year of Christmas and Chloe is still in her eating disorder. Yeah, that was never fun. <laughs> that was never fun. Anyways, okay, I'm going now. If you guys have questions about the Get Your Flow On course, I am um, having little like 20 minute conversations with people who are very interested in it but don't know if it is right for them. Um, so let's chat about it. I'll let you know what type of tools and everything that we're using in the course um, and you can decide from there if that's gonna be a valuable investment for you. Um, okay, that's all. Follow me on Instagram, like this video guys, it helps out a lot. Subscribe and I will see you guys later.